Let us see April 19 Indian Express News articles. First article that we are moving into is related to uh, growing concerns as wholesale inflation up to 14.55% pressure on retail price. Let us see what is all about. With the prices of crude oil and other commodities rising due to disruption in the global supply chain in the wake of Russia-Ukraine war, wholesale price index or WPI-based inflation surged to 14.55% in March 2022 after 13.11% reading in February 2022. Uh, the annual wholesale price inflation, uh, inflation at producer level. Mm, policy makers, a more worrying prospect is that uh, consumer price index or CPI-based inflation. Next article that we are moving into is related to who runs cricket uh, in India in many cases depends on uh, who is your father is. Indeed over a third of 38 full member of BCCA today include at the top sons are relatives of former officials of political powerful politicians the highest ever in the board's history. Never have there been so, so many associations that are ruled by families, such a veteran BCCA officials on conditions of anonymity. This despite red flags waved by Supreme Court appointed RM Lodha committee. Framing a new BCCA constitution way back in 2016, it had underlined in some states all members are from new families or a single family, thereby perpetuating the control over cricket in the hands of a few. It puts a cap, a cap age cap of 70 years. Uh, next article is, uh, Lieutenant General Manoj Pandey named a new army chief, first, uh, first from Corps of Engineers. Lieutenant, Gender, uh, Lieutenant General uh, Manoj Pandey was Monday appointed um, as the uh, new chief of army staff. He will succeed the uh, M.M. Narawani. Uh, next article is, Shelters and Sanctuaries to Biogas and Cow Dung, UP Government readies a stray cattle plan. The plan includes provision providing provisioning of shelters uh, for uh, within 100 days to accommodate 50,000 stray cattle going up to 1 lakh in 6 months. Uh, cow sanctuaries across the state to house the cattle in natural habitat, construction of at least 50 mega cow, sh cow shelters. Besides, uh, each district magistrate has been given the target of ensuring the shelters for at least 10 stray cows per day starting from April 15. Um, The official said the idea was to tackle the stray, stray cattle problem in such a way that uh, it is uh, self-sufficient and economically viable. For cow sanctuaries, the government has asked the district magistrate to identify the viable uh, available uh, forest areas with the provision for water bodies under their jurisdiction. Next article that we are moving into is related to in Jaffna waters, India sinks uh, China, bit, but an old net problem rises. Let us see what is it. Jaffna Peninsula in Northern Province where India has dis displaced China to sign a pact with the Sri Lankan government for a, a joint renewable energy project. It's a 5,000 inhabitants, all fish fisher folks are unaware of this intense geopolitical jostling over their island and two uh, others nearby, uh, Nainathivu and Analthivu. Um, in between the, in between is Kachathivu. Uh, which is uh, which which india succeeded to sri lanka in 1974 uh, let us see the continuation um, last year uh, day before sri lanka unilaterally cancelled an agreement with india and japan to develop the cast uh, to develop the east container uh, terminal at colombo port it awarded dollar 12 million um, renewable energy project at delft uh, nainathivu and analthivu to chinese company called snowser h win of the three islands, Delft is the closest to Tamil Nadu. Delhi offered its own project with a 75% grant of the project cost. Colombo froze the agreement with Chinese. It does not respond to India's either. In March, India and Sri Lanka finally signed MOU for implementation of hybrid renewable energy project for the three islands. Next article is uh, related to Time to help. Um, India has uh, India has already extended assistance worth dollar 2.4 million billion since uh, January. Two elements of this package are credit lines: one for fuel worth dollar 500 million, and other for food and other essential items worth one billion. 
uh, and IM of bailout is bound to take six or eight months to finalize. As Sri Lanka's Finance Minister Ali Sherby told this newspaper, the country needs three to four billion immediately in order to meet its import bill over next few months. At Colombo request, Delhi is reported to be considering dollar um, two billion package that may include extension of UL credit in credit line and a deferral payment to the RBI. Including, uh, including a borrowing spree uh, of wasteful expenditure on non-paying fanciful infrastructure project will ad advise the tax cuts that shrank revenue and failure to restrict imports to essential items. In the wake of Easter bombing attack that brought back the twin concerns of terrorism and um, uh, securities, Rajapaksha with their uh, records of military defeats with LTTE were re-elected Gotapaya as the president, Mahind Mahinda as prime minister. Even as it reaches out to Sri Lanka, Delhi must message more clearly than it has done so far its assistance is aimed at mitigating crisis for the people and is, uh, and is in no way intended as political lifeline to Rajapaksha's family. Next article that we are moving into is related to new shine to old ties. What the article talks about is, as Prime Minister Narendra Modi host British Premier Boris Johnson this week in India, the moment is ripe to turn the expensive new possibilities in trade, investment, high, um, high technology, defense, regional cooperation into concrete outcomes. The two bu bureaucracies have been working on roadmap to transform bilateral relations by 2030 under the supervision of external affairs. The consequence of the partition and the Cold War made it harder for Delhi and London to construct a sustainable partnership. Central to this is the underappreciated um, role of US in transforming the bilateral ties between Delhi and London. It was US that first recognized India's rapidly growing relative weight in the international system. At the turn of millennium, Washington unveiled the policy of assisting India's rise. This was based on the bipartisan American consensus that a strong, stronger India will serve US interest in Asia and the world. Today it is Washington that is setting the pace for Delhi's relationship with London. Britain was much slower in appreciating India's new geopolitical salience. US and Australia could be better than those with Britain is um, something that could have um, been unimaginable in 1950s. That brings us to third paradox on China's role in shaping uh, India's relation with the West. For um, uh, for Washington, the strategic commitment to assist uh, uh, India's rise was rooted in recognition of dangers of uh, China's dominated Asia. London in, London in the last two decades was moving in the other direction, full embrace of Beijing. Uh, things were on course until the US pulled the plug on Britain's um, Chinese uh, romance. Once the um, American deep state decided to confront Chinese power in the late 20, 2010. London had to extricate itself from Chinese Communist, Communist Party powerful spell. As the US unveiled a new Asian strategy, the British followed with its own Indo-Pacific tilt that helped secure the region against the China's muscular policies. Unlike US France, which was committed uh, to an India first strategy in South Asia, the Britain remains torn between its new enthusiasm for, ch um, for India and inertia for its historic tilt towards Pakistan. Um, India is confident that pa uh, Pakistan's relative decline in the region is bound to make it less weighty factor in um, um, India's bilateral relation with Britain. Delhi was, the, uh, was that Labour Party was emphasized to India while uh, Tories was not. The bad news is the most in India's internet internal issues get politicized in Britain. Good news is that Delhi is learning to engage with Britain domestic politics. Uh, the interconnected politics of India and Britain shaped by large South Asian diaspora of nearly 4 million can be cut both ways. Britain remains the fifth largest economy, a permanent member of Security Council, a global financial hub, a center of technological innovation, a leading cyber power. It has a significant international um, military presence and a wide ranging political influence. Realists in Delhi are trying to leverage these Brit British strengths of trend strengths for in uh, India's strategic benefit. Next article is um, uh, um, related to pivotal play, failure to stop wars and hold superpowers accountable as diminished UN stature, but don't write off the UN it. Let us continue this article in the next video. Uh, if you like the video, please do share, like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.